What is a timing belt? The timing belt is a complex system that is responsible for opening and closing the poppet valves on the cylinder head at the right moment. This system is made up of a tensioner pulley, a water pump, different pulleys and a timing belt made with reinforced rubber. Having a timing belt in good condition is vital for ensuring your engine works properly. The slightest problem with the timing belt could lead to significant and costly damage to your car. When should you replace the timing belt? Each manufacturer has different periods of maintenance. Look at your maintenance manual. The right moment to change the timing belt is often indicated. There are various criteria for replacing your timing belt. It might be the mileage or a maximum lifespan. Everything depends on what finishes first. Other reasons to change the timing belt. The mileage or length of use are not the only reasons for changing your timing belt. If you notice any damage, traces of oil or unusual noises coming from your timing belt, then it's time to change the belt. If you buy a second-hand car and are not sure when it was last changed, we advise changing it preemptively. What should you buy to replace the timing belt? When you're changing your timing belt system, you must buy a timing belt, pulleys, a tensioner pulley, a water pump, a water pump seal, some nuts and screws. Most of the time, a replacement kit for the timing belt that is specially adapted to your vehicle will be enough. If you're not sure that you have bought everything, don't panic. You can find the parts on the application Deco catalog that corresponds to your vehicle as well as the user manual for the belt kit. Why change the water pump? When you're changing your timing belt system, we suggest changing your water pump too. It pushes the cooling liquid around the engine and without it, it will quickly overheat. It is mainly carried by the timing belt. So if the pump breaks and blocks, the timing belt may also break. Tools needed for the operation. To change the timing belt, you will have to have the classic tools to hand, socket wrenches and sockets, but also a few specialist tools like the torque wrench and timing pins. Certain elements will have to be tightened with a precise tightening torque, without which the system may not operate correctly. You will also need timing pins that block certain elements of the system. This is essential for ensuring that the correct synchronization of the engine is maintained. Working in a clean environment. Before starting, you will have to do a little cleaning. Look around the timing belt to see if there are no oil or cooling liquid leaks. Even a little leak could damage the rubber and in the long term break the belt. You should also check the protective covers of the timing belt. If they are broken, they will not protect the area well and might lead to problems. Tips to replace your timing belt. Follow the instructions step by step. Always respect the tightening torque indicated. Don't forget to disconnect the battery. We suggest doing this operation with an engine that has been cold for at least four hours with an ambient temperature between 17 and 20 degrees Celsius. Always turn the engine in its normal rotation direction. It will then be a lot easier if you take the plugs out beforehand. You must not warp, twist or bend the belt backwards as this might damage its structure and weaken it. Always remember to use the marks on the belt and pulleys. They will help you to correctly put it in place. Generously coat the water pump seal in cooling liquid as well as the contact surfaces. This should be enough to ensure perfect waterproofing. Tension matters. Once the belt is in place, the most important thing is to correctly adjust the tension. If it is too tense or not enough, the belt will quickly break. To adjust the tension well, use the markings on the tensioner pulley. Time for a last check. Once in place, with the screws and the lock nuts tightened, using the torque key and the timing belt at the correct level of tension, check one last thing before turning the engine on. You must turn the engine manually a few times, as many times as is written in your user's guide, to check that it works well. If you hear strange noises, you should check that the operation was carried out correctly again. Now, it's your turn.